Hey there and welcome to the club and welcome to another Pokemon Fusion Challenge. Today I'll be combining Totodile and Wartortle together to create a cool looking character. So let's get started. I'm going to start with Totodile's eye. We're going to start with the bottom eyelid, so drawing a curve from left to right, coming down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. We're going to tuck in the eyeball underneath this line. So we're going to draw a big oval, starting on the side here, curving up to the top, and then pulling it back down to create a nice oval. Inside, we're going to draw in the iris. So from the top, we're going to draw another stretched out oval, curving down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. We're going to draw a little highlight. So up here, we're just going to draw a little curve, a little highlight. And then just below it, we're going to draw the pupil. We're just going to draw a little tiny oval and color that in black. From here, let's take these ends and curve them in behind the eyeball. Starting on the left, we're going to curve in behind the left side, and then continue off on the right. From this point, I'm going to tuck in Wartortle's ear on the side here, just behind, beside the eye, just above it. So right here, I'm going to curve up and out towards the right. I'm going to pull this back in, so rounding out the tip and then curving that back in. We're going to do an overlap, so stepping up about here, we're going to draw a curve going up and then curving back down. From here, I want to draw the little low part, so we're going to curve around and connect to that point there. So let's start on the inside again curving, rounding out the bottom, and then pulling that in to that point there. Let's draw a little curve for some inner ear detail. I'm just going to draw a curve like that. Let's go back up to the top of the head and draw in the upper brow area. So just on the side of this ear, we're going to curve above the eye and then come down. So right here we're going to curve up and curve down towards the eye. And we're going to curve and flatten out towards the left. So curving outwards. Let's draw on the top of the head. So right behind this brow, we step down to here, draw a little curve like that. We want to draw on the back side of the brow. So right up here, we're going to draw a curve going up, curving down, so it's almost like what we have on the right side here. And we're going to flatten this out as we come out towards the snout. Now here we want to layer in the snout. So just on, below this line, we're just going to draw a curve, just intersecting that. From here we're going to draw the snout. So we want to draw almost like a circle, circling around to the bottom uh, edge of the mouth. So right here we're going to curve out, curve around, and then just pull that back up like that. From here we want to draw the top of the mouth. So basically a just simple curve going up towards the eye, just about the center of the eye there. Let's draw a little nostril. So right in here we're just going to draw a little curve like that. Let's draw in the ear on the back side here. So we're going to just take this, flip it over in the back. So we're going to start with a big curve, going up to the top. We're going to round it out and pull it back. We're going to do an overlap, so stepping up, curving out, and then pulling that back, leaving a little gap here because we want to draw a little hump like that. Here we're going to draw that same little curve, so just up here, just curve it upwards. From here, let's go back to the mouth and draw in the open mouth here. So we're going to step in on the right side. So from the end, we're going to step in, draw a curve down to the bottom of the mouth and back up. So curving down, and we'll pull this back up. So it's almost like an angled oval. We'll tuck in the teeth, the little fangs here. So along this side, we're going to draw three. So basically just little points. Just coming out along the side. And we're going to draw three more on the outside of this line here. So one, two, three. We'll put in a tongue. So from the bottom edge of the mouth, we're just going to curve up to the upper part of the mouth. Let's draw two fangs on the top here. So on the end of the snout, we're just going to curve back and curve it back up and tuck it in. Right here where this little turn happens, we're going to draw one more fang and curve it back up. Let's draw on the bottom of the chin. So right here beside this tooth, curve down and tapering out. And we'll curve this back up underneath the chin. Okay, so we've got the head. Let's get into the body. So I'm going to have the basic shape of Totodel, so with the body coming down towards the tail, but we're going to layer in some elements of Wartortle on top. So here, if you look at the top of the brow, it's going to come in behind this ear and continue on the back here. So we're going to take this point here and curve back, almost like a slight curve towards the right. Here we want to layer in the arm. So we're going to layer in Wartortle's arm. So here we want to just layer in the inside socket of the arm. So right here, I'm just going to draw like a half circle. It's coming around like that. From here, I'm going to draw the top of the arm. So we're going to continue that line, curve it across. Let's close that gap off in the back here. We're going to continue this arm. So it's going to get a little bit narrower as we get towards the hands. Let's draw in the claws. From here, I'm just going to draw a little socket, a little curve like that. From this point, I'm going to curve down, 
from this point I'm going to curve up so it comes to a point. We're going to continue this curve of the arm around and connect it to that top but we're going to layer in some more claws here. So up here I'm going to draw another socket. I'm going to curve in towards the point and then up here we'll curve in towards the point. Now here we can draw in the curve to complete the hand. Let's draw one more claw in behind. So right up here I'm going to curve out to a point and pull that back in. From this point I want to draw in the belly. So Underneath the chin, we're going to draw the body down to here. We want to leave some room for the leg here. So if the body were to come down to here, start underneath the chin, curving out the belly, and then pulling that back to right about there. We'll complete that line once we get the leg in. So in here, we want to draw the top part of the leg. So it's almost like a big circle with an open gap at the bottom. Starting on the left side, curve around a big circle, come back around, and just pull it into about there. From here, we're going to draw in the feet. So on the left side here, we're going to step over to the left, draw a curve coming down, and we're going to round this out and pull this back up for the first toe. We're going to do that same curve layered in behind. So right here, curve down to the tip of the toe and pull that back up. We'll do that one last time, curving around. Now we're going to pull this in right into the leg there. Now this belly, we can just complete that by pulling that right into the leg. Here we're going to draw in wartortal shell. So we want to show that the shell goes in behind the shoulder and just in between the arm and the leg. So right here I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. Up here we're going to start the outside edge of the trim of the shell. So up here I'm going to curve around behind the arm. This is going to continue on curving out between the arm and the leg. From here let's draw in the little pattern in the body. So right here the center of the body is actually on the left side here. It's going to curve around this way. So right up here I'm going to draw a point. From that point, I want to curve up to the top of that arm, curving upwards. On this side, I'm going to draw a straight line going angled underneath the chin. Now from this point, I want to curve the center line down to right about here. From this point, I'll curve around, come down to there. From this point, I want to angle out towards the leg and then angle out towards the side of the body. So going out behind the leg, then out towards the side of the body. In here, where turtle's got a little split in the inner shell area. So right here we're just going to draw a curve going across the belly and in between the arm and the leg. Let's go ahead and draw on the arm in the back here. So we're going to take this, flip it over and draw it in behind the body here. So we start by drawing in the top of the arm. So right here we'll curve out. Now we can actually draw in the claw as we have that curve. So we're going to take this point, curve it back and then round out the socket to the top of the arm. We're going to take this point, we're going to step in from the tip and round out the bottom of the arm. Now I can layer in the, the thumb claw right here. So we're going to draw a little socket like this, a little curve. From this point, we'll curve to a point and then we'll curve up to the end there. We'll draw one more claw here. So we'll just layer this in behind. So curve and then pull that in behind the first claw. Let's draw in the leg in the background. So we're going to take this curve and draw just in behind the body here. So starting at right about that height, We'll bring it down to the same height along the bottom. So curving out and then pulling that back in. Now we want to layer in some toes. So it's not going to look like this because the body's turned you can see more the side of the foot here. So right up here we're going to step up, draw a curve and pulling that back. That's for the back toe. We do an overlap. So up here we curve around and then pull this back in. Do one more time. So curving across that line. Now from here we want to pull this back along the bottom of the foot and we want to curve it down out towards the right this way. From this point I'm just going to pull that straight up. Let's go ahead and draw on the back of the shell. So up here we want to leave a little gap and curve this all the way back down towards the leg. So curving around and pulling that in behind the leg. We're going to draw a little split in the shell. So right here we draw a curve going up. Now we're going to draw on the tail. So from this point where the shell meets the leg I'm just going to draw a curve going up and out towards the right. We want to taper this in towards the belly. So you can see the belly line here. It's going to go behind the leg and it's going to start again right at that point behind the foot. I'm going to curve that up to a point. We're going to draw the little spike on the end of the tail. Going up in an angle and then pulling this down on the opposite side. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's our Pokemon fusion for today. We've taken Totodal and Wartortle and fused them together. But I need your help in coming up with a cool name for this. So add a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.